Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I thought I'd show you what I'm doing right now. Uh, I've been changing the plugs in my Dodge Ram. It's an 07. It's got the 4.7 liter flex fuel V8 in it. Uh, I thought I'd show you what you have to do to change the plugs because I didn't even know where the plugs were in it. I got on YouTube and found out where they were. so. I thought I'd do a video really quick and show you. I got all but seven, or all but one of them done. I did the other seven already. And I'll show you what you have to do. Uh, the first thing you gotta do is take your air box off. That goofy thing there. And this half that goes over your air cleaner. Uh, sorry for the shaky cam, it's about 22 degrees out here today, so it's pretty cold. Uh, right here, you, know, you got that off. This is where your, these are your plugs. Each one has its own coil. And here's this one on this side I'm replacing right now. There's that one, that one, that one. These bolts that hold the uh, air cleaner on, I used a 10 millimeter to get them off. Uh, I don't know if they're actually metric or not, but that's what I used and it worked fine. So 10 millimeter will take them off. Got a hose clamp here, which you don't even have to take off. That big box just pops right in the front of that. And then the hose that comes off of that big box over here, I had to take that apart. And I just unscrewed the hose clamp there. But there's those four on this side, which really aren't too bad. The back ones are the biggest pain in the ass to get to, but other than that, I'm going to show you these ones. You got one here, one here, one there, and then the other one's way back up in there. And this one's a pain in the ass because of all these hoses and shit. You see there's a uh, nut right here that holds them on. They're 10 millimeter, too. That's what I used. Whether it's right or not, I don't know, but it worked, so... As long as it works, that's all that matters to me. But so we'll get this other plug put in, and hopefully she'll fire up. And when you put your plugs, when you change plugs, always make sure you put NICs on the threads. That way they don't get stuck in the head. They like to bond to the metal. That's what this is. This thing's older than the hills, but you can probably see it there, NICs. Lubricant. This is Napa stuff. These plugs are from Napa. You have a 4.7. That's what I put in them. They're just regular champion plugs. That's what it taught. Holy cow, my hand's shaking like crazy. <laughs> but the gap on them is 0 .040. So, and they were, they were alright. I checked them. Before I put them in, they were good out right so already, so I didn't have to worry about. I also put a little anti-seize on this stud here, and hard time getting some of these out, so figured 
What the hell? You might as well put a little bit on there more or anything. And this one I didn't have to unhook. That's your coil. Each one of them look the same. The plug goes in there. Drops down in. The other ones I had to unplug this clip. Just take a screwdriver, stick it in, hold this piece down and pull this and it'll pop right off. Just make sure you're holding that down. And they come they come right off. So I get this put back in there. I gotta go the whole way back over there and get the knot. I'm a pain in the ass. I had to stand on the front bumper and lean over through the front to get it done. I'm six foot one and I still can't reach everything, so. Just squeeze through here. It would have been a lot nicer if I'd backed it in one before the battery died. You can see that. Oh, man. There it go. Poop. Where's that here? I don't know. Well, you guys get the idea. Just put that back on. And then you put the air back the box. This wire here hooks into the one of the sensors in the back of the box and I'll give her a rip snort here and see if she starts I hope so she is pretty flooded from the battery being dead so I hope it helps you out uh, 07 Dodge Ram 1500 4.7 flex wheel V8 Changing the plugs. Have a good one.